Previously on Brickitect. That is our giant table and giant pile of $10 worth of Lego from a yard sale. This is why I love going to yard sales, guys. We're gonna go through all this, sort it out, get the non-Lego out, clean it up, and then infiltrate it into our collection, which is at least a fraction of it is back here. <laughs> later i wasn't planning to get this all done today but i did we got all of the non-lego sorted out i was going to say we got it all sorted but as you can see it's certainly not but we have all of the non-lego pieces in here and a lot of these man there's a lot of tyco in here if you guys have ever seen tyco it looks very similar to lego and it's hard to spot so i'm sure some of this is infiltrated within here in fact let me do it i'll do a comparison for you guys i did this for the people on the stream if you're not subscribe with notifications turned on you're missing out but there is Tyco and there is lego and they are very similar in fact if i flip them over it's hard to tell the coloring is a little more vibrant on lego i feel like and a little more dull on the other ones but that is all the non-lego we still have all of our other stuff here including the the speed racer sets you guys saw these pretty easily earlier so i don't need to go through that too much but we've got all the minifigs laid out here that I think I showed earlier as well, and we've got some of the bigger stuff. We figured out that this is from a Star Wars set. It's like a droid battle pack or something, and we've got some of those guys. I still have to clean these up. This is going to stay boxed. If you're wondering about this, it's going to stay boxed. Uh, I'm going to sell it probably, or hold on to it forever and see if maybe I can retire off this as a billionaire someday. Obviously not going to happen, but it seems silly to open that at this point. This stuff, I'm planning to wash it all, get it all nice and clean. In fact, I could probably wash it right in this bin. And then I'm going to dry it, and then we sort it, and then it goes into the collection, and it gets, I, I hopefully enjoy it in there, whether it be in mocks or builds or if I'm missing a piece. But a lot of it's just kind of standard bricks and stuff. I would have flipped if that was a Tyco piece. <gasps> it is! Oh, I failed. I failed miserably, Clark. I'm probably going to have to go through this a second round. That's Lego. Because some of that stuff infiltrates and yeah, that's what we got so hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on this journey i didn't show the connects but yeah you, you see some of that stuff over there that was fun two hour stream got this done and uh, we're ready for the next lego yard sale haul well things may look the same it's actually the next day here and i want to thank everyone in the last video that i made on this ten dollar haul for all of the help and information on a lot of the stuff that's in here specifically something that i saw a lot of and that was comments on this backpack, which I dismissed as non-Lego, just because I've never seen anything like this before. But it actually is Lego. You guys were right. If you look inside here, possibly, if I could get in the light, you might have to take my word for it. But inside there, it does say that it is Lego. And I appreciate you saving this from the non-Lego bin. I typically donate this stuff where I try to sell it at a yard sale. Uh, so that will be rescued and put in with the Lego. And you'll have to let me know, is that a surprise to you that this is Lego? Because in, in my experience with Lego, I've never seen anything like that. But that's why I make these videos, because it's really nice having a bunch of people that know a lot more about Lego than I do. You might think that, hey, this guy has a YouTube channel. He makes Lego videos. He knows everything there is to know about Lego. Ah, far from it, like really far from that. But I got information on this stuff, this stuff. I get information on these guys. I appreciate that. And I also get information that this isn't actually Lego. This is supposedly Mega Blocks, so it doesn't hurt my soul quite as much not having a head for this, and I would have a heck of a time going on BrickLink and trying to find that, I suppose. I'm like, where's, where's Spider-Man's head at? I don't see it anywhere. So, I, sad enough, this is going to go out. Even though it's really cool, I should try to complete this, actually. Maybe, maybe I could put something on there. If you guys know any like awesome piece that would really complete that, I'd really appreciate the assistance on that, since you guys have been so good with 
helping me with all this. But yeah, again, this is everything that came out of this for ten dollars. I'm really super happy with with how this turned out. I still got all of this stuff, which I won't go over again with you. But this is, as far as I know, the non Lego pile. Again, probably some Tyco lurking in here that's gonna it's gonna try tricking me as I pull one out again. But uh, yeah, we we find it sometimes and it, it just kind of goes off. But there's that. If you want to come to our yard sale, which is actually happening today and tomorrow, you can buy this from me. Otherwise, it'll probably just go to American Rescue Workers and some kid who doesn't give a crap about Lego or non-Lego, like us elitists out there, is going to see this and be like, oh man, I can build a lot of neat stuff out of here. And for that kid, I think he's going to have a great, he or she will have a great time with this. So on that, again, thank you guys so much for all the help with this. I appreciate the community out there and uh, hope everyone else out there has a glorious day. And we'll be back with you, just like I said earlier, with another Lego yard sale haul because I've got a couple of them just ready to share with you guys.